Hi, and welcome back to Two Hungry Travelers. Last week, we started the challenge of being vegan for one week. You witnessed us attempt the first day, watch us go shopping, and in the evening, Pokey made some amazing pasta, completely vegan. Now, it's time for day two. Let's see how this goes. It is day two of the challenge. It is a challenge. I had to drink my coffee this morning with just oat milk. Um, not a big fan, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, time for breakfast. So what is for breakfast? Today, I thought it would be nice to start with a yogurt bowl. So we're having a mix of um, Alpro soy yogurt and vanilla here high protein yogurt then we have some fresh mango and then I'm gonna top it off with some granola, some chia, some nuts okay that's it are you happy with your work Tastes like soy, doesn't it? It's very good yogurt. We got a car. This is Del. He's a VW T1. One week old. It's been a week that we have him. Uh, if the pandemic taught us one thing, then it is we need a car. We need a car. We definitely need a car, and we're so happy with him. He drives great. He looks good. Yeah, and it just gives us way more possibilities of going around. And margarine. And <laughs> I could eat onions today. Yay! And now we're trying to try that. That's supposed to be the main attraction, but also onions. What is this made of? Oh goodness, these are these are field beans. There's artificial thickener E four hundred one. Then there is uh, ketchup. <laughs> Salt. Ketchup is a good thing. Ketchup and tartar. Then there's some more thickener. This time is E415. <laughs> Yay! And then there's uh, different herbs. Aroma extract. Wow, I wonder what kind of aroma they extracted from what? <laughs> uh, then tomatoes. Then you have pickles. Uh, and then they're saying capers. Well, not exactly capers. It's Caper creation. Uh, then there's gluten, mustard, natural aroma, pea flour, okay. oil, green olives, more vinegar, water, and onion extract, fermented. Amen. So nothing you would expect in a regular beef steak tartare. Um, so I'm not sure who said that vegan food is healthier than beef or the meat in general. I mean, look. It looks like tartar, but it smells pretty bad. Yeah, and the ingredients, I mean. It smells sour. Okay, I'll try it. If all fails, I'll just have my toast with onions. Well, it's got a lot, a lot of vinegar in it. So it doesn't surprise me that it smells sour. Let's just dump a good amount of onions on top. And to make it even better, we have some Tabasco habanero. Because chili makes everything better. Like beetroot hummus. That's what it looks like. Does it taste anything like tartar at all? 
Does it deserve the name tartar? Um, the onions and the chili definitely help. It's it smells stronger than it actually tastes. I would say. All right. So the translation of that is. <laughs> no, you can eat it, but. We have Hiltel here. Hiltel is Zurich's oldest vegetarian restaurant. Um, and they fun? do, I'm not sure if it's a vegan um, tartar or a vegetarian tartar, but they're doing tartar and it's actually pretty good. Isn't it the oldest veg vegetarian restaurant in the world? Uh, no. I can taste the Tabasco. <laughs> I can taste the onions. And to be honest, it doesn't taste like anything at all. Mm. But it's flavor since it's flavor neutral, it brings it the flavor yeah. of the onions and the Tabasco very well. So, so we can definitely eat it. It's not bad. It's okay. The old old tartar. This looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? Right, this is what we had last night. Today is still day two, but we, um, yeah, we didn't really do a very good job in shopping yesterday. So we just realized that in order to make the dish that we were planning on making, we we're missing a couple of ingredients. So uh, the easiest way was just to, uh, yeah, keep it simple. Do the same thing again. Yeah. So this is it. Now, of course, we could have also gone shopping, in theory, but unfortunately, we had a little something else to do today mm. because here, yeah, you. This guy decided he needed another trip to the vet, so we did that. Singa, say, see you tomorrow on day three. See you tomorrow on day three, everybody. Mm -hmm.